Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Uh, we just finished up a uh, the ceiling of a cistern. Um, it's a it's a rather large cistern underneath a garage. It's a poured in place cistern, and it needed waterproofing. It had a leak on one of the walls. Uh, it had been about 15, 20 years since it was last waterproofed. So that's what we did, and we just wanted to go over the process for. Uh, sealing up an, an old uh, concrete cistern or brick cistern. Um, the first thing you want, are going to want to do is clean out the cistern. And uh, so you'll need some large capacity pumps. Um, for something like this, this is about a 24,000 gallon cistern. Uh, we usually use a three inch trash pump, gas powered trash pump, but we also have a couple of two inch submersible pumps that we use to pump out the water. So we'll fill before we pump all the water out, we'll fill a 50 gallon barrel and that will be our water supply, not only for uh, mixing our, our uh, Master Seal 581, but also for feeding a pressure washer. So we pump out the tank, we wash the walls, and uh, for this application, you wanna make sure that the water you're using to wash the walls is rainwater and not water with chlorine in it. Because the additive for this uh, waterproofing cement has ammonia in it, you want to make sure that your water supply does not have any chlorine in it or it will produce a toxic gas. So we have rainwater. Um, we fed that to our pressure washer in the trailer here. We uh, just lightly rinse the walls. And then we, we use a wet back to, to suck up all the muck and, and shovel out all the muck that's in the bottom of the cistern. At that point, we're gonna start mixing. And again, we're using what's called Master Seal 581. It used to be called Thorough Seal. It is a waterproofing cement that is NSF certified. You can see the NSF label there. It's certified for potable water systems. So it is safe for drinking water once it cures. This waterproofing cement, we're gonna mix with the water from our drum, uh, three parts water to one part Master Amaco 660, uh, which used to be Acryl 660, or Acryl 60 or something like that. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is our binding agent for the Thorough Seal, the uh, Master Seal 581, and make sure that it will adhere to the, to the wall well. The first, so day one, we do a very light coat of this Master Seal 581. Our preferred method is to use uh, a white Master Seal. Um, this is a white powder, uh, it, it applies white. And if you get it to a paint-like consistency and brush it on using a deck brush like this, and just coat the first, the, the, the first coat on the wall, very thin, just like paint. But you wanna get that first layer on there, uh, brush, brush it in broad brush strokes, um, using circular motions to work it into the concrete. And once you do that, you will have a very uh, good surface for the next coat to bind to. Um, so we'll get a first coat on the wall with using a white Master Seal 581. Then day two, we'll come back after, after that first coat is cured and we'll actually mix a gray or we'll add gray Master Seal 581 to the batch to make it contrast with the white. That way we know that we're getting full coverage. Um, and that, that gray coat, again, you want it this time a little thicker than paint um, and really brush it on there and get a good even coat and then spot check it to make sure you don't have any thin spots and they will show through. That white from the first coat will show through uh, through the gray. So once you apply that second coat, you wait 24 to 48 hours and uh, make sure to shop vac once you're done um, with the second coat, shop vac all remaining uh, water on the floor so it dries quicker uh, for the cistern. And, um, and then the last thing I'll mention is it's very important to not only have a respirator on when you're in the cistern, but also have a fresh air intake fan, uh, which is right here. This will introduce fresh air. Look at this too. This is a confined space, confined space uh, entry uh, fan. 
So it will blow fresh air in constantly and circulate that, that old air out. So every, every three minutes, it's 100% fresh air going into the cistern. So we're getting that, that, the smell of the thorough seal out of the tank. And it does, it does smell. So you definitely want to have a respirator and that fresh air intake. Um, and that's all there is to it.